Hey, y'all, and thank y'all for tuning in. Now, if this is your first time, welcome. Now, if you've been here before, welcome back. Y'all, it's soup season, and I am truly excited because we are going over the Soup Lovers Ultimate Chicken Noodle Soup Recipe, y'all. And on this channel, the food is always the star, y'all. Now, let's get going. Now, we got butter in the soup pot, y'all, but I want to show you this right here. This chicken base, we're using better than bouillon. You don't have to use this brand, y'all. They don't pay me. You don't have to use that brand. It's all about me showing you how to incorporate some chicken base in whatever it is that you're using. So we have celery. We have carrots. And we want to put a saute on there. So we're going to add a little bit of extra butter in there because this is working on high heat. We want to sweat these veggies first, y'all. We don't want to throw the water in, get it to a boil, and then put the veggies in. No, 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 no. We want the veggies to get a little bit of that flavor out. Yeah, a little bit of that nice little sear color on it too, all right? It will make your soup taste much better than boiling the water and then dropping your veggies in there. You saw I put that chicken base in there. That was about a teaspoon's worth of chicken base. Now, I made some chicken stock, y'all. Actually, y'all, my wife, she made this chicken stock, y'all. And so I'm using this chicken stock she made. And these green onions that I just threw in there come from our garden, y'all. I'm proud to say we do have a mini garden working. And we have a bigger one working in the works. Not quite there yet. All right? So we want to get this up to a rolling boil. And I'm phasing in chicken stock as we go. Now, that chicken stock has a lot of flavor and seasonings in it already that made it easier for me so i am putting in some lemon juice also some minced garlic i have some tony saturi seasoning in there too as well some paprika a little bit of cumin and we have to bring that to a rolling boil y'all it's gonna go ahead and get it back up to that rolling boil and once we get it to the rolling boil we're gonna let it sit we're gonna let it work all right now we got to get our pasta ready because that rolling boil means it's time to drop those pasta noodles in there. And the type of noodles that I'm using, y'all, is linguine. I find linguine works phenomenal, phenomenal when it comes to using it with chicken noodle soup, y'all. Yes, I love it better than spaghetti, that's for sure. And most places use linguine noodles, if I'm not mistaken, I know Restaurants that I would work at in the past, we would use linguine noodles when we would make in-house soups. And it's nothing, nothing like a chicken noodle soup, y'all. I'm telling you, that soup goes far. But I must ask you, what is your favorite soup? What soup do you love the most? This is mine. I'm not going to lie, y'all. And notice, notice. That is not at a rolling boil when I put the chicken in. We're going to get it back up to a rolling boil, but we're not in a rush to. Because now, now we have our protein source in there, though protein is not needed in this soup. You don't need to have your protein in there. You know what I mean? But if you want your protein Get your protein on, just like I'm doing right here, y'all. And it will turn out phenomenal. Chicken noodle soup, the broth itself goes a long way. Because if you choose not to use all of that broth, you can extend it. You can add some cornstarch to it, and you can make you a gravy from that broth, too, as well. And the last thing you want to do is add some more water to that to in rich the soup because noodles will always continuously absorb the liquid y'all now take a look at what we have going on here y'all i think that this looks mighty mighty fine y'all mighty fine and that's what it's all about it's about having something that you know everybody is gonna love you don't have to make this for people make it for yourself we always take care of other people in our jobs. But sometimes we need to learn how to take care of ourselves and put ourselves first. There's nothing wrong with doing that, y'all. And that's what we have here. A chicken noodle soup that we made for us. 
I can't wait for y'all to try this out. It's just an inspiration, a great idea for you to go ahead for soup season to have this on deck and ready to go, y'all. That's what it's all about. No matter what noodles you choose to use, that's on you. This soup goes a long way. Did you know you can also freeze your soups too? You can take this soup, cool it down all the way, put it in a freezer bag, lay it flat on a sheet tray, and let it freeze. And once it freezes, then remove it. If you don't have room to lay it flat on a sheet tray, double bag it. Make sure you don't have any leaks. Now, take a look at that soup. Look at that. That's what it's all about, y'all. Y'all be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you feel like it's something that we miss, let us know so we can add it to the playlist. That's what it's all about, y'all. Y'all are part of the family. This is for y'all. I mean, look at it. Ooh-wee. That look good, Dal. That's what it's all about. That's what I'm saying, y'all. Thank y'all for tuning in and be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see y'all on the next side in your browser, in your up next section, y'all. That's where we want to be.